Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 4th of April. Very famous day in Alabama weather history. Seems like uh, almost every year something kind of wild and crazy happens on this day. And sure enough, we might see some severe weather later today. In fact, we probably will. Uh, let's take a look out the window this morning. Things are pretty calm at the uh, ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. There's a look at downtown Birmingham from the Daniel Building. Cloudy and pretty mild. Temperatures are in the uh, 60s in many areas. Gadsden, the downtown view there coming from the Sky Cam in Etowah County. And in Lee County, that's our Sky Cam in Opelika. Yeah, got a big trough off to the west. Boy, what a wild day in Denver. They went from like uh, record warmth to snow underneath that cold trough. And of course, in advance of that this morning, things are pretty active with convection Take a look at the uh, activity in Texas and Arkansas. Got a number of uh, severe thunderstorm warnings for the Dallas-Fort Worth area at uh, 5 o'clock this morning for that convective mass coming on through there, and that is rolling in our direction. We'll check the instability values at uh, 5 o'clock, and uh, you can see that uh, numbers are peaking around 2,000 joules around uh, uh, well that area from Houston to Lake Charles. Uh, no surface-based instability in Alabama yet, but don't worry. We will have plenty later today as temperatures rise up into the 80s. And we do have a moderate risk of severe weather for a large part of north central, north and central Mississippi, west Tennessee, and the northwestern corner of Alabama. And surrounding that, a large slight risk all the way from uh, Houston over to Tallahassee and up to Pittsburgh. And that includes all of Alabama. Now, the tornado threat is low. Uh, there could be a few isolated tornadoes, yes, anytime you got a trough like this, but the prime surface low is way up north. The projected winds are fairly unidirectional. So uh, while there could be a tornado, the main threat will be from strong straight-line winds, and that means uh, there there's a 45% chance, almost a 1 in 2 chance of severe weather within 25 miles of a given point within that moderate risk area, very high chance. And again, it could be a day with uh, widespread wind damage, not from tornadoes, but from damaging straight line winds. So uh, it's going to be a very active convective day and the rain's going to be pretty heavy. We're expecting rain amounts of around one inch. Uh, you know, this thing will be moving very quickly. So that will prevent, I think, any flooding issues, the heavier totals uh, up north. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Uh, this is the OZGFS at one o'clock this afternoon. There's your trough. And down below that, yeah, the surface low is moving up into Canada, uh, 988 millibars, and there's no secondary low showing up on the front. So uh, more than likely, this will be a just a, a linear type thing, a squall line, quasi-linear convective system, QLCS. Check some of the parameters, and this is the significant tornado parameter along that line, and this is at 4 o'clock this afternoon, local time. And, uh, and yes, that is a significant number, uh, over one, in fact, over two in spots from near uh, Jackson to Muscle Shoals in Nashville at 4 o'clock. But with outbreaks, with, with this kind of dynamic forcing, often that number would be higher. But the reason it's lower is because of the lack of any back surface winds. This is the uh, supercell composite, and those numbers are higher, which you would expect. Look at the actual instability values, and again, this is at... Uh, 18Z, this is at 1 o'clock this afternoon, and uh, the numbers are up to about 1,500 joules here. And, of course, the, you know, the peak of the daytime heating process comes a little later, so we figure instability values will be between 1,500 and 2,000 joules by, say, 4 or 5 o'clock as the line approaches. But, again, the good news, the low-level helicity is not very impressive at all. Uh, the bigger numbers are up in New England and again, that's because of the lack of any deep surface low down here. So let's check the timing. That's the next big question uh, with, with the RPM. And understand this is just a guideline. This is not the gospel. The weather's going to do what it's going to do. This is valid at 21Z, which is 4 o'clock local time. And at this point, the RPM has the uh, squall line from near Huntsville down to about Hamilton and then down into uh, Mississippi. We'll go to 7 o'clock this evening. Local time, and uh, the squall line is approaching Birmingham. It's coming on through Tuscaloosa, approaching Gadsden. 
10 o'clock tonight, it's on to the south, approaching uh, Roanoke and Montgomery. And just after midnight, it's way down in southeast Alabama. So, you know, in terms of timing, we'll say probably the core threat will be uh, from about uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon until 9 o'clock tonight, with the risk maybe a little later than that into deep east Alabama. And again, you can clearly see that the RPM is not showing a lot of uh, development out ahead of the line. We don't expect a lot. If, if something by chance does, it could go tornadic. But again, even in this case, the, uh, the, the lack of those good backed winds around to the southeast should prevent a major tornado problem. The big problem, strong straight line winds along that line. All right, let's go to Tuesday, tomorrow at uh, 1 o'clock. Everything's out of here. The trough axis on to the east. Uh, the sky should clear. The 540 line almost down to... Well, it's down to Chattanooga and maybe some evidence of snow flurries up in Kentucky and West Virginia with this. Uh, we'll forecast a clearing sky tomorrow, and we won't get out of the 50s. It will be a much, much cooler day. And again, Wednesday morning, uh, look out now. This is our late season frost issue we've warned you about. I don't think it will be a widespread damaging freeze. Will the colder valleys touch the freezing mark? Yes, I do think places like Valley Head will get down to 30 or so Wednesday morning, most places in the mid-30s with frost. So uh, if you have any kind of plants that would be harmed by that, you want to protect them and cover them up. But during the day, we warm up in a heartbeat. We should warm up into the uh, right, around, right around 70 by Wednesday afternoon. Thursday, dry and warmer with upper 70s. And Friday, this is the end of the week. Look at the big trough out west, the big upper low. And ridging from the gulf is nosing in here. Uh, so that will prevent any widespread rain. Having said that, there might be enough moisture for a few scattered showers. It will be a warm day, kind of a muggy day with low 80s. I uh, got some outdoors, no washout. Saturday, the big trough is out west. That 588 ridge, a summer-like ridge, nosing in from the Gulf. And again, there might be a shower somewhere. I think most of the day Saturday will be dry. It should be warm, low in mid-80s, almost like summertime. And Sunday, pretty much the same deal. We should be above 80. Uh, there, there's a small risk of a shower, but the big action is going to be off to the west, a, a sub-1,000 millibar low that's near Kansas City with a trailing front. That might bring some severe weather out there. And then Monday, a week from today, the big trough that was out west lifts out toward the Great Lakes. The ridge suppressed a little bit. And again, there could be some strong storms with that, but the deeper surface low is up north as well as the better dynamics. So hopefully that will prevent a major issue there a week from today. We'll check the end of the forecast, April 19th. Eh, kind of a weak flow at 500 millibars, and down below that, uh, we're dry with another big storm uh, that's over the uh, upper high plains up there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.